Today we have a 2008 BMW 6 Series here in shop. Uh, we have uh, several videos on this car on our website, see carsterahelp.com or our playlist on YouTube for all our BMW videos. But this one was brought over from a local shop. We've been able to turn it on. Uh, it does not recognize the AM and FM tuner. It does not recognize the top CD player. It does not recognize satellite and there's no audio. So our other video on this will straighten that problem all out. But we're going to show you how to take the stereo out today. We get this car in pieces. So we're guessing on a little bit of this. There is a control here in the center of the dash between the AC vents and with a small flathead screwdriver you can pry this uh, switch out. This will give you uh, access to pull this control out and disconnect the connector that is on it here. And this will also give you access to one screw, Phillips screw, down in the opening that needs to be removed. This screw secures the vent assembly to the front dash and now with our pry bar we're going to pull and pry the front panel from the dash with the AC controls on it. This will release the clips with the pry pressure. We're going to remove this, feed the connector through the panel, and uh, set this to the side. Next there are two screws that need to be removed. One on the right side here that goes inward and one on the left side here. Uh, you have to be inward to remove these two screws. Once these two screws are removed, you can see where the uh, first screw was attached here through the uh, panel here to keep them attached. Next with our pry bar, we're going to pry the right side of the front panel from the dash along with the left side, work our way down the left and right sides. This will uh, pull forward uh, once the clips are all released and this will give you access to the connectors on the back of the panel here. There are several connectors here. These connectors have little triggers that you push down and you slide the bar over the top of them. Once the triggers release, you can pull that. There it goes. It slides out around. As that slides around, it pulls the connector up out of the connector and we can release this. We have several remaining connectors here on the uh, AC control. Same type connector for the first two. Uh, the remaining connector has a little trigger on one side and we're going to push that trigger down and squeeze the trigger, the uh, connector from its socket and set this panel to the side. This is going to give us access to the car stereo now. We have four screws that secure the stereo to the dash. Uh, one on the bottom right, one above that one, one on the left and one above that remove these four screws and this will allow you to uh, pull the car stereo from the dash. Now we're going to wiggle with the uh, gear shift as well and hold that back just a little bit to allow the radio to clear and this is going to bring it forward to give access to all the connectors here. We have uh, several connectors. We have the main connector which has a little trigger on it. Uh, you squeeze the trigger into the connector and that again allows the arm to pull over and pull the connector out of the back. Now we have uh, here we have a fan assembly with three wire connector coming up to the top of it along with several antenna jacks here as well. These antenna jacks are uh, pretty much color coded and fit only one way so they will be specific as to going back to the same position on these. Two antennas and the uh, main connector along with the uh, one connector for the fan assembly here on the back of the radio. Now these connectors, uh, this is the main connector into the back of the radio. It has a little trigger here on the back of it that you squeeze this trigger down here and it allows this arm to push up and around the connector. And this pushes the connector up out of the opening as this arm swings around. To put it back into place, uh, you have to place it in with the arm up and push the connector into place and spin the arm around to lock it into place. Uh, the antennas are both color coded here. There is uh, uh, one black, one blue. They both have triggers at the top of them at the back here. And when you push this trigger down, it allows you to lift the lock and remove the antenna jacks. There is a uh, uh, same for the black antenna here, has the trigger on the top. The uh, 
fan motor connector pretty much wiggled that one loose but there was one remaining connector here this uh, silver one that fits into the back of the radio this one's pretty snug it takes a little bit of pull and and wiggle pressure to get this one to come loose uh, see our video on the uh, amplifier tuner and satellite box uh, hope this video has been helpful please subscribe see our YouTube playlist thank you for watching